I became an engineer because I wanted to make things. But after I graduated, the reality of the world caught up with me. That's just not something we do in this country. Not anymore. It took me a while, but eventually I realised it was true. I'd have to go somewhere else. Somewhere I could do what I was meant to do. Hello and welcome to the Blade of Akar channel. You are watching Shenzhen IO. This is a, a a kind of technical puzzle game, um, which requires you to kind of bone up on given reference material uh, in order to learn how to manipulate the uh, theoretical electronic devices that you're presented with in order to solve a puzzle and come out with the correct outcome. I watched Scott Manley do his, uh, his well he's done a couple of videos at this point um, on the game and I found it quite interesting and I guess the reason for that is that I've, I'm a software developer, I have been for nearly 20 years, however I've never programmed in assembly um you know or done any of the real low level electronic stuff outside of messing around with big um, logic gate um, style pieces of equipment at uh, in science at school so hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much um, with the lack of my expertise in in you know uh, in doing this stuff um, but I have been equipped with a rather lengthy PDF which you're required to print out um, otherwise if you were lucky enough to pick up the deluxe version um, you would actually receive a binder with all of this stuff already printed out for you. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be an option on Steam anymore. Um, so, you know, Scott Manley uh, was lucky there. He, he got that. But um, there is, you know, there's a lot of explanation about, you know, how to manipulate the device um, to get out outcomes that you need. And, uh, yeah, these puzzles are going to get very hard I, I surmise um, but like I said I hope hopefully don't I don't embarrass myself too much now um, we are obviously moving to China because work in whatever origin country we're from um, is not looking too healthy right now so let's check our email dear new employee Thank you for joining Shenzhen Longteng Long Electronics Company Limited. We aim to become a world leading company in the electronics industry and a respected brand with products in homes, offices and public spaces across the world. Longteng Electronics was founded on the following principles. Diligence. This means both diligence in your work and diligence in your life. When you encounter a problem, do not give up even if you are not talented. By working at it every day, little by little, you can achieve the goal. Connections. The process of creating electronics is the process of creating connections between different components. In the same way, we do business by making connections with other people. Therefore, it is important to always be making connections in your work. Salubriousness. An unhealthy mind creates an inefficient design. An unhealthy body builds a defective product. Follow correct eating, correct behavior, and correct thinking in order to maximize your potential. Please keep these principles in mind as you contribute to our efforts. Wang Yong Hong, of, uh, which is CEO of Shenzhen Longteng Electronics Company Limited, Limited, I didn't realize they used that in China. Unless we're in Hong Kong, but I'm pretty sure I saw... Let's look at our documentation here. Um, I'm pretty sure <coughs> that we have gone to China, but let's... Unless you have, a, have to have a Chinese visa to go to Hong Kong. Uh... 
No, I put the story stuff right at the back. That's what the problem is here. Okay, here we go. Visa application form of the People's Republic of China. Right. It would help if I knew where Shenzhen was. So that's if, even if it's not fictional. So let's have a look. Shenzhen. It's Hong Kong. There you go. So limited would actually make sense because um, obviously Hong Kong was under, you know, some kind of UK uh, British governance for for a long time. Um, anyway, uh, let's carry on reading here. So ah, f uh, so Carl Teske. Ah, fresh meat. What was he intend to do with me? Just kidding. Welcome, welcome to Southern China. Or Hong Kong, it's uh, it's all right, I suppose, except for the heat, smog, and lack of decent cheese here in Shenzhen. Still far better than any engineering gig I can find back home in the UK. Though I'm assuming you ended up here for similar reasons, Carl. Um, we've got a welcome from Joe. You. So I heard you're our newest ace engineer who's going to kick ass and take names. Am I right? You've probably heard all about me already, but I'm the product guy who loves to find amazing opportunities and make deals happen. Let's do this. So he's a product manager. Uh, so now we have a message from Wu Lily um, or Wu Lili. Uh, greetings and welcome to the team. As you've already been made aware, we are on a major international expansion effort and we are very eager to see you bring your skills and expertise to our company. Vice President of Product. Okay, so we've got another message from David P. Solomon. Um, okay, so he, he insists on throwing in some uh, Chinese characters. My name is David, or whatever that is, in Chinese, and I was brought on to help Long Tang with its international push. Though I've only recently moved here from San Francisco, where I should point out there is a very vibrant Chinatown. Why is that relevant to me? I'm really loving it so far. It is truly fascinating to see a culture at once so ancient and so modern from up close. I'm sure we'll be, we will be working closely together to create many successful products. David Solomon, International Product Manager. Okay, and we've got one from Zhang Ji, uh, or Ji, Ji, I think that is. My name is Ji Zhang. I am ch the Chief Staff Engineer, your boss. I have not managed many foreign workers before, so please understand if I make a mistake here or there. Anyhow, I will send you send your first job shortly. G. Okay. Important. Read the manual. I know you're. I know you're so good at engineering, uh, systems, and life in general. You haven't needed a manual in ages, right? Well, trust me on this one. You you really, 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 really want to read the manual here. Even better if you keep it handy as you work. Don't be like the non-manual using person who quit just before you started and whose name shall never be uttered again, Carl. Um, this is a, a strong hint that uh, you need to print out the PDF manual <laughs> and have it on your desk in order to succeed at this game, unless you are as sharp as a button uh, you know, engineer in this field already. Right, what's this? Exclamation mark. Security camera. Fake. So, so Ji Zhang is sending us... Uh, this product is an imitation, mock, security camera. It has two blinking lights. The first light blinks in a regular pattern. The second light is an internet light. So it should be blinking in a more random, intermittent pattern to resemble data upload. As you will notice, the design is partially complete already. A previous engineer left, quit, before finishing the assignment. Note the timing diagrams 
in the verification tab. When you simulate, your output should match those expected values as indicated. Let the simulation run for four full tests to make sure you have a proper solution. Uh, so we've got Carl Teske here who's saying, I'm absolutely certain you'll do better than that last person. I, don't hold your breath, pal. Don't hold your breath. Create a working design for this product. Open in Concept CAD. Okay, well, before we do that... Okay, so this is just options down here. Okay, we so we can leave that alone. All right, all right. I'll go back to my mail and open in concept CAD. Okay, fake surveillance cal calendar a camera even. Uh, new design one, not yet verified zero parts. Okay, open design. Okay, so now we've got this kind of uh, layout um, schema layout, I guess, and we've got. So we've got a connection from active to P0, move nothing to P0, sleep for 6, move 100 to P0, uh, and sleep for 6. Okay, right, what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to have to turn some things down here because otherwise I'm going to be fighting the music so hopefully that was enough <clears throat> okay let's try this again now uh, the verification says we want one two three four five six. these are like cycles I guess one two three four five six then one two three four five six so off for six on for six so hundred being fully on why is this so hard? It, it, I, th I feel tempted to write because you're a noob. There we go. <coughs> okay, um, so I. So I guess active is the light. And if I can I run yeah so this yeah so that so they've completed the first circuit fine reset so now I need basically I guess another one of these and then I hook that up in the same way and then we've got a one two three four so move 0 to P0 then sleep for 4 then move 100 to P0 sleep for what's that 2 so so we're, we're pushing a, an on signal and then we've got to sleep for 2 and then after that I've got to push 0 back zero to p0 then I've got to sleep for one then move 100 to p0 sleep for one and then what's that one two three four so I think that's that sign call then repeats let's let's see if we've got that Yeah. Yeah, that that seems to work. Yeah, I think I think we got that. All right. Okay. So production cost. Okay. What's this? Is this graph telling me how I did? Power uses. So there was a. There's a more. There's a less power consumptive way of doing this, maybe? How would you do that? I 
I mean, yeah, I don't know. Can you? You can't go outside with that. So you have to use two of these things. So I'm not sure how you would how you would do that. So I, like I said, I'm a bit of a noob myself at, at the assembly or, or this kind of language, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure stuff out. Anyway, let's get rid of these comments because it wasn't that hard, pal. There we go. Maybe there's a just a more efficient way of doing it. I don't know. Yeah. What's this profile a bit? Oh, I wonder. Okay. I wonder if reset does do both of these lights really require a hundred can you drop it down to 50 does that work let's try that no so you have to you have to do the full power in order to get it to work okay So that's interesting, but I just I don't know how show wires. Okay. Show parts. All right. Well, I d What's this do? I've no idea. Information Active network is similar. Control the active network outputs with fixed repeating signals as indicated in the verification term. Okay, so we're not getting any more hints there as to how I could perhaps increase the efficiency of this of this device. I guess there's something very deep down that would allow me to. To, to perform the same same level of functionality but with with less power usage um, maybe I can come back to this one at another time I don't know uh, what, what do I I do I have to just go through this again now come on Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Right. Uh, return to mail. Okay. Thanks for your prompt work on the blinking lights. Looks okay. G. Looks okay. Okay. Uh, Shenzhen days. Why are we even here? From Tilly. Hi everyone, we've had a bunch of new signups this week, so let me reintroduce myself. I'm your host, Tilly Liu, and I run this fun little mailing list for expats in Shenzhen. I'm here to demystify some aspects of life and culture here, along with a side helping of colour commentary. Sometimes just the colour commentary. <laughs> yeah, I get distracted. Today's topic is, why the heck are we in Shenzhen? No, really. Like, why are we here at all? 
I don't mean in the immediate sense, sure, we all have some job or some businessy thing to do, but let's talk about the larger factors at play. We're here because Shenzhen's been one of the fastest growing cities in the world for the past few decades, ever since it was declared a special economic zone back in 1980. We're here because it, and really the entire Pearl River Delta region, is a sprawling megacity wholly dedicated to trade, manufacturing and services. A giant economic machine, we're here because what's possible in Shenzhen really isn't possible many other places in the world, certainly not at the same scale and cost. So where's all this capability headed? You know, in the future, are we going to make more stuff, more products and things until the world is buried in crap? I guess I'm asking, what is all of this incredible growth for anyway? I have some ideas, but that's a topic for another day. Sounds like you want to argue yourself out of a job here, yeah, lass. Right. Um, hmm. Replacement factory module. Okay. Control signal amplifier. We are working... Oh, why have I read that as we are? Create a working design for this product to view histograms and leaderboards. Okay. So from Jijiang, our factory floor has some examples of older equipment that require control signals to be amplified. We had a device to adjust signals for this type of machine, but recently it was broken, smashed. Why was it smashed? This is an appropriate project to teach you about inputs. Uh, Carl Teske, smashed, hang on a sec, what happened? Is everyone okay? And uh, Jisheng says, no need to worry. Well, that's that was brief and to the point, wasn't it? Um, okay. Open in concept CAD. Right, so we've got control signal amplifier, new design, not yet verified. Open design. Okay, so we've, we've got literally nothing here. Control in is a simple input connected to factory equipment. Control out is a simple output connected to other factory equipment. The signal from control in should be multi multiplied by two and copied to control output. Uh, well, I guess I need one of these. Uh, right, so we've got control... No, not... No, no. There. Yeah. So we've got control in, which I guess we'll have to go to P0, and I guess P1 to control out. Let's have a look at the verification. So whatever signal we get in, uh, I guess we times by two. So... Uh, so if we, I think, whoop, taking screenshots when I didn't mean to. So if we move uh, P0 to, we need, so uh, I, what I understand already is that accumulator is something we can use to do calculations. So if we move P0 to accumulator, and then we can, I guess, multiply by two, then move ACK to P1, is that, is that all we need to do? Part not sleeping, <laughs> I forgot there's a, there are cycles, so we need to, uh, we need to sleep. Um, And then what just sleep sleep for one there well there you go job done That's a, 
is it using too much power? That seems like an awful lot of power just to multiply a signal. Okay. I don't I don't understand. Is this how someone managed to use less power? How how would you do that? I guess I don't know. What, what if I used the this labels as well? So if I do end invalid label name sleep. Why is that an invalid label name? don't understand why that's a, an invalid label name so I'm gonna have to refer to the document and figure out why that is invalid as a label name because I've obviously misinterpreted something there oh right <laughs> okay yes so the the naming of this the colon goes at the end Oh no, what have I done? P1, right, and that end, there we go. And then, uh, mm hmm. And then, uh, t uh, there's a test, so test greater than ACK. Zero. So if accumulator, if what's in the accumulator is greater than zero, then I want to make sure it does that. If it's not, then I'll then I want to skip it and see if that uses less power. So we were using like 240 each. Wow, that's using even more power. <laughs> so doing a test has made things even worse. Right. Okay. I don't know how we use less power here. So I'm just going to return to email because yeah, at the end of the day, I've done the job. Okay. Looks good. Thank you, G. Take care. Yeah. Why is he saying take care? Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm I'm actually having fun with this. I know it's really nerdy and spotty, but it's it does kind of give you a like a, a basic introduction into how you would manipulate electronic devices, and uh, that's really kind of interesting. And I guess it's the ethos of Zactronic Games to do that. Um, so yeah. I guess, uh, you know, I'm not embarrassing myself too much. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next episode of Shang Zheng IO. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now. Human hack. What? You, what? What the hell? Acceleration. Yeah.